Hey everyone, this is Joe Martin from 360 Works. And in this video, I wanted to show you this cool little demo we made uh, where you can drag and drop and select a section of a document and extract the words from that document. So it's, it's kind of an interesting concept. And the idea came to us because we, we actually had a client come to us and then he was getting, he had lots and lots of invoices that he was scanning in and using Scribe to extract the text contacts, uh, extract the text contents from. But he wanted to extract specific portions of the document and store that in FileMaker fields. So in order to do that, you need to know the coordinates, the locations of these, of, of, of these, of these elements on, on the document. And then once you have that, you can search the text track results for what, what is inside of those coordinates, pull that out and store it in FileMaker. So uh, we built this tool to help you accomplish that. And the first thing I want to do is just talk about a couple of requirements that, that we have here. So first, Obviously, you're going to need Scribe set up with TextTrack first. And if you haven't already done that, uh, you can check out, we have another video on the subject kind of walking you through that process. Second, you'll need a document that you've already TextTracted. So in the, the tutorial video I just mentioned will actually show you how to TextTrack your first document. So, so if you watch that video, that should cover both of these, both of these items. Um, Unfortunately, this demo only works on the Mac. Um, Internet Explorer did not like the JavaScript that we used for the for the drag and drop for the for the selection. Um, so, unfortunately, you're stuck doing this on Mac only. Uh, another limitation is this works best with single page documents only, um, and. Uh, We've in a in a there's a if you look at our scribe scanning demo there's a, there's a video we put out which shows you how you can actually use scribe to split a multi-page PDF into single-page PDFs. So if you if you want to if you want to split up your multi-page PDF and then use this text track select tool, that's that's probably where you want to start. So without further ado, let's take a look at the demo. So here I have a document that I have already textracted. And uh, so as you can see, I've got my plain text response, but more importantly, I have the JSON response. And this is what we get back from Textract. Um, so if you go to the lab section of the demo file and then the Textract select tab, we'll see our document here rendered in a web viewer. And so we can just click down, drag and drop a square over what we want to find. And there we go. We're able to see the words within that selected area. More importantly is we're able to get the coordinates of the square that we drew. So later, we can come back. We, we don't even need this little drag and drop tool anymore, as cool it is, as it is. We can just use the coordinates to extract that, that portion of the document again and again. Say if you, had, if you had differing pieces of data over like different scanned in invoices. Uh, so let's take a look at this one more time because I just think this is so cool. So we'll drag and drop and we'll, yeah, there we go. We can extract Jane Doe from the document and we'll get a slightly different set of coordinates here. So how does this work? Um, there is a JavaScript component here and it gets a little complicated as JavaScript tends to do, but there are several functions here that, that, that hook into the, we, we add event listeners to the mouse clicks, the mouse down, the mouse move, the mouse up. Um, the most of the logic is going to happen in our mouse up function. This is where we're sort of calculating all the coordinates for the square that you just drew and to tie everything back together to, to feed this back to FileMaker, we're making an FMP URL call back to our 
scribe text tract demo file, and we're going to call the script rect select callback. And then as our uh, we, we need to pass a parameter to that script, and that's going to be those those coordinates, the coordinates that we selected inside our web viewer. So once we once we draw a square, we'll make this FMP URL callback feed those coordinates back to FileMaker, and then FileMaker is actually the one that's responsible for searching the text tract results for what is inside these coordinates that we've selected, and then feeding us back the words that, that, that we've uh, chosen. So just to show you real quick, here is, the, here is the callback script that is called from the web viewer after you have drawn a little square on your document. And this, this, this script is, is essentially just a wrapper for the real script, which is a little bit more appropriately named, which is called find words within coordinates. You can see that get executed on line 18. So if we take a look at that script, um, we can see exactly what the example parameter would look like. And so you feed that to this script and it returns a JSON element with the words that will be found inside of those coordinates. So that's pretty much it. I do want to give a shout out to Sam Barnum for coming up with the idea and the JavaScript for our text track select demo, as well as Jesse Perez for just general scribe text track development. He's the, he's the one who sort of started all this. Uh, we, we've got a link to the demo file that contains all of this stuff and uh, you know as well as the JavaScript and and uh, and the, the text track videos and stuff like that in, in, in the comments. So check there if you want to check out this demo file. Um, I hope you guys get to play around with this and have some fun. I know I did. I really like this. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.